example that's pretty interesting to talk about is HCN. Hold on. All right, I figured it out. If you were to draw the Lewis structure of HCN, one way you could draw it would be like this. And if you were to assign uh, formal charges, hydrogen would be 1 minus 1. Um, the hydrogen would be 1 minus 1, so he'd be 0. He's pretty happy. The carbon, though, would be 4 minus 2, so he'd be positive 2. So, um, and then the nitrogen would be 5 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so that would be a negative 2. So that's not very good. So, and you probably realize, folks, that if you were to draw the Lewis structure of HCN, you would actually have a triple bond. And this one you might say, Mr. Sams just pointed this out off camera, that this doesn't even obey the octet rule. But this one would. You'd say 1 minus 1 is 0, 4 minus 4 is 0, and 5 minus 5 is 0. So this is the correct Lewis structure. For HCN. Another good example that would uh, be um, available, let's not do ClO3. And then the last example I want to talk about is OCN negative. O gets 6 plus 4 plus 5, that's uh, 10, 15, that's 16 electrons, right? So you could do O, and then you could do C, and you could do N. So I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So that's one structure. Yep. Another structure would be O, C, N. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And actually brackets around each, of course, because this is an ion. Forgot my charges there, Lee, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. Or you could do O, triple bond C, single bond N, and then do two here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So each of these are th are the valid Lewis structures. Oh, and one more. What's the other one? I need a double bond. No, I need the double that's bond. It. That's yep. it. Okay, you so now charge, Mr. Berkman. I forgot my charge. Lee, I tell you, you're rubbing off on me, I tell you. All right, so now what I want to do is evaluate which of these is the best structure. So for the O, O starts with 6. So 6 minus 2, 4, 6. So this would be 0 right here, right? Mm -hmm. And the carbon would be 4 minus 4, which would be 0. zero. And the N would be 5 minus 6, which is negative 1. Okay. That's pretty good, actually. That's not too bad. You have to have the total charge add up to negative 1 since this is an ion. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a very good structure. Well, let's do the second one. This will be 6 minus 7. That would be negative 1. Mm -hmm. And this would be 0. And this would be, these are two electrons, not nickel. Um, this would be 5 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0. Okay. That's pretty good, too. So yeah, is one good. of those better than the other? Uh, I think they're equally valid. They're equally valid. How about this one? So we do 6 minus, for the oxygen, 6 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be positive 1, right? Yep. The carbon would be 5 minus, or 4 minus 4 is 0. Yeah. All right, he's pretty happy. And this would be 5 minus 7? Uh, 7, yep. Negative, negative two. 2. Still adds up to minus 1, but... Not everybody is close. To so this structure is really bad. It does not. So this one is our invalid structure. So the real resonance structures, if you will, of OC and negative is the average of these two. Mm -hmm. So this one is no good because from our formal charge ruling tells us that. Where this one right here, these two, pardon me, are good. Make sense? All right. All right. Good. All right. Vesper. 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 I like that. Vesper. I like this. Yeah. Because it easy All right. Is it in the wrong place? No, no, it, it's right there, but... Oh, okay. Vesepper. What does Vesepper stand for? Valence. Oh, hold on, I'll write it down. Oh. Gotta, gotta change the colors. Valence. Shell. Shell. Electron. E electron. That's a biggie. Pair. <laughs> Pair. Repulsion. Repulsion. And it's a theory, so we put the theory in. Theory. Vesper theory. So the Vesper theory. This means that Vesepper. valence electrons want to stay as far apart as possible. Yep. You see, electrons, folks, have like the same charge. They're all negative. They're all negative. And mm -hmm. so, of course, if everything's negative, they repel because they like to stay. So, why do they stay apart? Because opposites attract and likes repel. Because likes repel. 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 I still <laughs> re. Repel. Oh, there you go. I think I was trying to spell what I was trying to say Replay. with the funny accents, and then it came out. Yeah, yeah. Repel. All right. So it's all about something called effective pairs. We're going to call effective pairs clouds. All right. Now, there are two kinds of effective pairs. An effective pair can just be a pair of electrons. Unbonded. Unbonded. So we're going to call this an unshared pair. 
or it could be a shared pair. Right. Actually, it could either be a single bond, a double bond, or a triple bond. Right. These also count as one, one cloud. Or actually one effective pair. Right. Or we're going to say one cloud. So if it's a single, a double, or a triple bond. So yeah, so these count as one and these count as one. Okay? It's very important when we're trying to understand the shapes of atoms and molecules. Now you've got a paper. Now this one's kind of got some pictures missing on purpose. <coughs> Excuse me. This is, we'll call for all intents and purposes, the shape paper. It has all of the shapes that you'll have to know. Now, if you took chemistry last year, you learned about some of the shapes, um, which is cool. However, there are more shapes this year. Mm -hmm. So um, we add quite a few more shapes this year, and we want to now learn about the shapes of the molecules. Now, the number here is the effective pairs or the clouds. I think your paper says clouds, and mine's kind of missing it on here. So this is the clouds or the number of effective pairs. And so if you have two effective pairs versus three, four, five, or six, it changes the different shapes that you can have for a molecule. So the first shape that we want to talk about is the linear diatomic shape, okay, which has how many clouds? Two clouds. Two clouds. First of all, I just realized Mr. Sam's caught that this is the typo here. This is a linear tri atomic. Okay, so let's fix that before we move on. All right, so folks, I have um, three atoms right here, the styrofoam balls, and of course the Vesper says I need to keep the clouds as far away as I possibly can. So yep. I'm thinking this looks pretty cool right mm, here. Those are not as far away as they possibly can be. Oh, okay, so I can go like that. Mm, not a no. It well, looks like Mickey Mouse. Kind of. Actually, so if I want to put them as far away as possible, obviously you realize I can put them completely there opposite and in a linear triatomic fashion. Right. Triatomic meaning three and in atoms. In three atoms in a line, you see. And so that's why we have this concept of linear triatomic. They are, they are at 180 degree bond angle. So the shape that is drawn.